Ken Gentry and I'm the Greenhouse Supervisor at the Oak Park Conservatory and I want to thank you for volunteering for the plant sale. Um, usually we have it in the operations room but because of situ the situation with COVID this year we moved it into the greenhouses um, and some of you have done this before. If you have, bear with me. Some of you are new volunteers so I wanted to go through the process. Um, we've made this short little video. Uh, the first thing you'll be doing is seedlings. And seedlings, generally, I will start, and you will get this set up, and you'll be moving them into a four-pack or an 804. Uh, and the way that's done is once you get this tray of seedlings, you'll use a stick that will be on all of your potting benches to work out the little seedlings, and you'll usually get them in a group, and with that, you're very gently pulling from the bottom of the leaves, tease out a little baby plant. Oop. And see, I'm just touching it very gently. And so that is what you have to work with. And I'm just holding it below these leaves, kind of gently in my finger. And everybody has a little technique with this. Just don't pinch it. Um, so from there, you'll use your little pokey stick that you'll have and gently place that seedling in the soil and you can use the stick to push it down to where it's just above the soil line and that's it. You don't want to push down in, you just gently want to place it. And when I, when we, when I go to water this, that's what's going to settle it in. And then after you have a full tray done, you'll have these white tags and on that you'll write the name of the plant that will be in here. Here's one that's already done. Um, and on the back of that, put F for FOPCON, or Friends of Oak Park, or P for Park District. You'll be doing both kinds of plants, and it will say on there. Um, so you just need one per flat, and you'll put that in the front, if I'm the front, um, left-hand side, just for consistency when we line these up in the greenhouses, and I can see what the plant is and who it's for. And that is it for seedlings. So then once you, they've grown up a little bit, this is the same plant, um, a couple of weeks older. This is called Gaylardia. Um, then we'll move this from four pack into the four and a half inch, which is the final pot for sale. So you'll be given this flat of pots filled with dirt. You'll, for each one, you'll take it out. You'll make a little hole. You can use your hand or your stick. Uh, then you'll take out the pot from the four pack and the way I usually do it is push from the bottom and tilt it and it comes right out and this is not a great and then you just gently place it in the hole that you have you might want to add a little bit more dirt but you don't want to ever press down and then once it's in there just give it a tap it should end up just below this little indentation you see, we call that the water well, and that's that holds the water. Um, so once that's in, you'll want to take a finish tag that will be, be provided for you, and for each pot, go ahead and put that on the left-hand side and put it back into the flat. And this should have uh, labels in every single pot once you're done, and then you'll take this and set it aside. So, so that's working with the 804. Sometimes you'll be working with plugs some weeks, and that's essentially um, plants that have been grown for us. Uh, you'll usually find them as a cylinder with this wrapping around it. And I don't have one, but you'll have a tray that's called a plug tray, and that's what I'll be giving you along with one of these trays of soil. Uh, and it's basically planted the same way. Uh, since it's smaller, usually you'll make a little hole just kind of work that down in there very gently. I'm not really pressing. And then gently push the soil back to where it covers the base of the plant, what's called the crown. And then you'll, once again, give it a little tap. And that's all it needs. And when I water it, that'll settle the plant in. And that's it.